Hello. So I was going through my mealworm drawer, which I do nightly to go through and pick out my pupa. Um, since the mealworms and beetles are scavengers, the pupa, if they're left unattended, could be eaten, which will decrease your colony size. So I make sure to go through nightly and um, check out what uh, pupas I have and pull them out and put them in my pupa drawer. But while I was doing that, um, I came across a few mealworms that recently shed their exoskeleton and I wanted to show you this. So you have this one right here that's running away. That is the typical mealworm that people see. Well, when they are when they, as they grow, they are going to shed their exoskeleton. And when they do that, they turn white. Or when they're freshly hatched out of the egg, they're white. And a lot of people don't get to see this stage because they change color so quickly. So this little mealworm right here um, just shed its exoskeleton. Um, and so he is white. This one uh, shed its exoskeleton probably in the last few hours. And that's why you see it where it is not as dark as the rest, um, but he is darker than this little guy right here. So this is what happens when they shed the exoskeleton and then within a, uh, probably a few hours or so, it'll get darker. Um, and then it'll be the mealworm um, that we typically see. Um, so like these guys here, um, this is what he will be soon. Uh, this one will be that uh, soon. But so when they shed their exoskeleton, there's different options. One, it can either grow into a larger mealworm, uh, which is what these two have done. Or if it pupates uh, when it's large enough, uh, it's going to or when it sheds its exoskeleton when it's large enough, it'll pupate. And so I have a drawer here that has my pupa drawer. Um, and what it is, is this little compartment here. And we have this little beetle here that just uh, came out of the pupa stage. Let's see if I can get them to turn over. Um, they, I believe they're learning how to walk and that's why they, they flip over a lot. So that's what they look like when they first come out of this right here. So just recently he was in this stage. And so they go from the mealworms into the pupa stage here. And so these are pretty new pupa. They were me mealworms recently. I believe I took them out in the last day, a day or two. Well, then they turn into these little guys. And if you look, you're going to see that the eyes and the legs are turning really dark. Once they're black, and then you really see them start moving like this, they're going to turn into a beetle like this. So we have several different ones. My pupa drawer has gone down quite a bit, actually. I had several hatch. I had probably a hundred or so in here. Um, but these guys are going to end up being beetles very soon. This guy, probably in the next hour or two, but definitely by morning, um, he'll be a beetle. So once they learn to walk, they'll climb out of these little holes that I made in these trays. This tray is elevated on these like little stilts right here so once the beetles come down looking for food uh water um they can't get back up which means my pupa is safe from the beetle stage of being a carnivore or excuse me a scavenger and eating its own and it'll stay down here and this is where i leave them for a couple of days um, while their shell is hardening because while they're white or like the bronze color, their shell is still very soft. So you have here a couple of different ones. These ones right here will probably be going in tomorrow, 
but this one right here is still very soft um these guys are still pretty soft but like that one right there will probably be pretty close to black tomorrow so that's when they will end up going in my beetle drawers but I like this setup because they have a few days to change into being a beetle that is going to be safe from the other beetles. Um, but they cannot get to my pupa. So, though my pupa are safe. So I yield a lot more beetles because I separate them into the three different stages. Um, well, technically I would say four. You have your, my meal worm, worm drawer, which I'm waiting for all of these guys to pupate. My pupate drawer with my fresh beetles. And then I have two drawers here with beetles that I just changed over today. This one right here. And this one right here. And then once I sift them out, which I just did a video about how I sift them, you'll get this drawer. This is one of my first drawers with oats, which I'm not really fond of oats. I use uh, chicken feed as my substrate. But you'll see I have all these little babies right here. And this drawer is not even a month old, really. Um, so I have a lot of eggs still in here um, that will end up hatching and continue the life. But this is my most recent well excuse me my oldest drawer and you can see they're not huge but they're definitely a lot bigger than those other ones so yeah but yeah i wanted to go ahead and show you the mealworms um in the different stages after it shedding an exoskeleton so a lot of people i don't believe know what they look like after they shed um so you know it's kind of confusing why do you have this white worm in with your mealworms so now you know it's actually just a mealworm that is much softer because it shed its uh, exoskeleton so there you have it just wanted to give you that little bit of insight i hope you enjoyed this have a good day